It's 8am, it's opening time, and I'm going to do my very last minute Christmas Eve veggie shop. and Merry Christmas. Welcome to the final day of Vlogmas. I hope you're not going to fall down. I've got you balanced on a lampshade because quite frankly, holding the vlogging camera after this morning's Pilates was not going to happen. If you are watching the day that this video goes live, then happy Christmas. I hope you are having a gorgeous day, however you're celebrating with friends, with family, with a loved one with your favorite box set on the television. I hope you've just had a really lovely and hopefully somewhat relaxed day. Today for me is obviously Christmas Eve and um, it's literally just turned midday and things are about to get very busy. So Charlie and I, as you know, are hosting Christmas. So we are cooking for actually not such a mega huge group tomorrow. We're cooking for eight tomorrow and then I think it's 13 on Boxing Day. And obviously we want to spend as much time with friends and family as possible so we are getting loads of stuff prepped today so i've already done that last minute dash around dalesford i got there for 8 a.m when it opened and it was already like queues so that's going to be crazy there today got the last minute bits and bobs did an hour-long pilates showered dried hair fake tanned, hence the brown, not terribly festive outfit. I put on a cute little headband, this is actually from Amazon, and um, my snowflake earrings to try and look a little bit more festive. But yeah, today is mega, mega food prep day. We want to do the cauliflower cheese, cheese sauce, and the crispy topping that's going to go on top of that. Um, I need to make pistachio and white chocolate brownies for tonight that we are taking to Charlie's brother George's house, George and Petra's house, because we've got Christmas cocktails and canapes and a Christmas quiz with them this evening. And I said I would bring a dessert. So I've got homemade brownies and homemade eggnog ice cream coming with me for that tonight. What else? I mean, I've got a mega list on my phone and you'll see all the things that we are preparing, but it's Christmas Eve. I can't believe it's here, the final Vlogmas. I'm so grateful to everyone that has watched um, the Vlogmas videos this year. It truly means so much to me that you would spend some time at this very special time of year with uh, my little family. And I would love to know, leave a comment, let me know when you're watching this because I always find it interesting that the, the Christmas day vlog, a lot of people do watch it on Christmas Day and a lot of people save it and watch it during Twixmas, <laughs> that time between Christmas and New Year. So let me know when you're watching, let me know your favorite Christmas food that you ate over the Christmas Day period. Um, and please let me know what has been your favorite part of Vlogmas this year. It's been a very jam-packed Vlogmas this year and I'd love to know what your favorite memories are. So my darlings, without further ado, welcome to Vlogmas Day 25. Okay, my darlings, just for a moment, I've got the kitchen to myself. Charlie's going to be down any minute. I thought I would let you know just quickly my festive to-do list. <laughs> I've literally written festive to-do for today. First of all, as I mentioned, well, I Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry, was I not paying you enough attention? 
attention? Was I not paying you enough attention? You might be thinking, who is this little baby? Well, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that we have got a new little puppy dog staying with us for Christmas. This is Bertie. You may have met him before. And Bertie's family are skiing at the moment. So we said, of course, you can come and spend Christmas with us. He's a little bit needy. So you can, you can just wag your tail at me while I tell everyone about my to-do list. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start with... Oh, God. You're very needy. You are. You have to sit still then. Okay. So I'm going to make the brownie first in the Thermomix because time is of the essence today. If I have time, I'm going to make some homemade mince pies. Prep cauliflower cheese sauce and topping. Make the bread sauce. Pick carrots for the trivet from the garden, lay the table. I did the napkins last night. There's another sausage waiting to come in. Got one final gift to wrap for Charlie. And then prepare the toppings for my two baked brie recipes. So without further ado, I'm going to get started on my brownie. Mm. And it's so delicious. Right, who's in the puppy waiting room? Come on. That's a slightly more festive backdrop. Okay, I've got all my ingredients here. We are using lovely dark chocolate for the main flavor of the brownies. And then pistachios, my absolute, my favorite nut. <laughs> Does anyone else have a favorite nut? Mine is definitely pistachio. We've got three large eggs. We have got some lovely organic salted butter. Oh, was it meant to be salted? Oh no, unsalted butter. Organic self-raising flour, caster sugar, um, what else? This recipe does actually call for raspberries, but I am putting in lovely chunks, which are currently in the fridge, because you do want the chunks to be cold so that they just melt perfectly. White chocolate with pistachios, which is a bar from Dalesford, which is gonna be so delish. You can, of course, follow a normal brownie recipe and do this without a thermal mix, with a hand mixer, but as I mentioned, Speed is what we're after today, so let's get going. it's only taken me 10 minutes so far and I'm already at the final stage. This is the white chocolate pistachio and almond bar that I'm gonna break up into cubes at this very final stage. Then I'll just stir these in and the brownie is ready to bake. is in the oven and Charlie and I have unanimously, unanonymously, unanimously, <laughs> anonymously, anonymously, <laughs> anonymously. An, you know, we have agreed that this is officially oh. best chocolate in the world, right? Mm. I have to apologise, we've let the side down with the mince pie ratings. We have. Mm. Which has been your favourite? Which is this? These are good. These are from, these are not very accessible because they're a gift from Molly. Mm -hmm. Who works at Team Back Mumba, mm. and they're from somewhere in Kent. Mm. They're good. Um, the best one, they are top five this season. Oh, wow. But honestly, I love just the standard Dalesford ones. Mm. The Piper's Farms ones were good. Mm -hmm. The Pump Street Bakery ones, which mm. were expensive, mm -hmm. were very good because they're a bit different. Were they the ones in the fabric bag? Yeah. I found them a I bit dry. I haven't gone down the supermarket route this year. No. We're, next year is going to be the year that we really try not to go to supermarkets, for sure. So hence I thought I'm not going to do that this year. Tell us what's on our to-do list today, darling. Okay. So we are going to... We're a bit... Oh, we're not behind. No, we're not. We did do a lot of this yesterday, but we've done a lot of the housework yesterday. 
Mm-hmm. So the house feels pretty ready now, so that's great. Because how many people we got staying? We've got just my sister tonight, and then we've got five people staying, so my mum and dad and my brother and Petra tomorrow night, mm-hmm. and seven staying the following night. Holy moly. And then five again the following night. So it is quite a lot for hosting. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making the turkey gravy. So I've got chicken wings, which are obviously a nice, cheap, easy carb meat. So we're going to use that with a trivet. So it's basically exactly like I would normally do a Sunday roast. So the chicken wings will give the flavour to the trivet, and then we'll make the gravy from that. And then I might add some of the turkey juices to the gravy when I warm it up tomorrow, but um, it should already be really good. So the gravy's ready, and we're gonna put it in a glass bottle. So we'll probably make two bottles of this of turkey gravy. Mm-hmm. Then we'll That's probably... a lot. Yeah, well, it's not just us, it's for Christmas, and then mum and dad are gonna have leftovers because they're not here for the lunch. We're doing a fondue. No, we're not doing fondue. Um, so that's that. Then I'm going to do the Yorkshire batter, and that will mm-hmm. be just one bottle of that. So it, literally, that's why I love keeping these from our local dairy, because then I'll just have a fridge of like six of these, and it's a bit like we're not at that level, of course, but a bit like when we had the private chef for our Christmas party. I did really notice how he'd done all the prepping, obviously before, mm. and he had loads of containers of loads of stuff, and it mm. was just really just bringing it all together. And that's the aim. Of he Christmas. only arrived an hour before. Um, or two hours before we started eating, which yeah. was really I mean, impressive. What we had was it was a cold start, wasn't it? And we had loads of Wellington. loads of amazing canapes. Yeah, I mean he was amazing. I'm like shout out again to Paul from Season Kitchen. He was utterly amazing. Absolutely but fantastic. But I was inspired by his approach. We do it most years. Then I'm going to do the red wine jus, mm-hmm. which is actually for Boxing Day mm-hmm. because that's quite timely. So tick that off. And then if we have, we're de- then we're going to do the cauliflower cheese together. Well, I'm going to get cracking on the cheese sauce while you do those Fine. bits you've just I'm been talking about. Cheese sauce in the bottles. Yeah. And then finally, hopefully we'll have time. We're going to do a couple of breadcrumb. So we're going to do a breadcrumb. I'll, I'll definitely have time to do that. Yeah, breadcrumb almond mix for the Top. cauliflower cheese. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we're going to have a Brussels sprout gratin this year because everyone wanted roasties with the beef Wellington. Yeah. Normally they do a dough from Mars. Mm. I feel like with beef you need something cheesy. You do. We'll have had a cauliflower cheese with the. Turkey. So Brussels sprout gratin is a nice way of getting something cheesy and wholesome, but also with like using up the sprouts that are left over. Mm. So that we will do a nice breadcrumb herb. It's more herby, and then the cheese goes in the topping. Nice. Um, and yeah, and then I think if we get all that done, we will feel pretty prepped. And then yeah. tomorrow, and also then I'm going to cut the carrots and parsnips and put them in the honey and mustard. Woo-hoo. So then tomorrow, really, it's just the roasties I'm doing from scratch and getting the turkey in. Amazing. There you go. Let's get cracking. Is this going to be the best brownie of all time? Whoa! incredible and just before I get started on the cauliflower cheese I'm just taking my little blooms around into the guest bedrooms so Charlie's mom and dad are going to be staying in this one so they can have this little one here with some roses just some nice seasonal foliage have I got enough here George and Petra Scarlet Annie and Richard yes perfect and I'm gonna pop the towels in the rooms and then the guest rooms are ready well, here we are, my darlings, for the final time. It's the final countdown. Mm-hmm. It's the last one. It is the last <clears throat> one. The final advent I'm calendar. I'm not <laughs> I hope not, darling. Okay, I'll hand you the camera, darling. Right, number two, four. Number 24, the Christmas Eve advent calendar. Right, when I was little, I always used to be so disappointed that there wasn't one on Christmas Day. <laughs> Yeah, I think some chocolate advent calendars have them on Christmas Day, don't they? But we're all, everyone's already spoiled enough on Christmas Day, I think. Where will we be spending most of Christmas? Well, in reality it's the kitchen, but I think you mean the living room. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I thought, you know, we have to finish where we started and finish with that room. Absolutely. I think my clues have got worse with every day. (laughs) I don't think so. No? I mean, they're not exactly rituals. No. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Okay. All right, I haven't got the lights on. No, turn the tree on, Doris. No, do you want to turn the tree on? 
God, it's chilly in here. I need to get the fire lit. Okay. Boom. Alright, so what do we have here? Oh, a new perfume. <coughs> An elegance, how fatty. This so, is a popular one, I think. Yeah, and this one I wear. Ooh, really? <clears throat> but, yeah, but to be honest, I think it will work really nicely on you. Really? It's obviously more of a shame about the single use plastic. Yeah. Sort it out, Ben Halligans. Did you know the more crinkly the plastic, the worse. The plastic is? Yeah. yeah. Totally that unnecessary. It's absolutely yeah. unnecessary. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Um, yeah. It's one of my favourites, wow. and I just thought, the more I'm wearing it, the more I'm like, no, do you know what, this is a unisex scent, and I, I think, think... I have pinches from the uh, bathroom. I the think this will be quite good in winter for you, Ooh. with knitwear, like, yes. you know what I mean, it's, Cause I quite it's like quite that. punchy, it's though, so... Cord leather one. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice, that does remind me of you. That reminds me of you in knitwear. I know, but in I just nice thought, because I think you've got loads of lovely summer scents, mm. and I know you've been wearing, what's the new brand that you've been wearing, fragrance-wise? Okay. Talk around, there was another one. But I feel like you need a statement sent for winter. That's and I think this could work. That's really nice. You have really done so well this Advent calendar. See, I love that smell. It's lovely. I really? think, here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. When buying a fragrance for someone as a gift, do you A, buy one that you think the person will like, or B, buy one, if it's your loved one, that you like? That you like, because it's kind of important, it. isn't it? You've got a smell on them. Yeah. And of course, Surely by this. Focus. And next, they're not gonna, they're not coming back after this yeah, year. I'll get bits of fruit next yeah. year. Yeah. I won't because I don't eat fruit. No. Darling, thank you. I think on behalf of everyone that's watched this Vlogmas, <sighs> we have loved the advent calendar. Well, like, it will be coming back next year. I say it every year that I'm like, I need to plan it further ahead. Mm -hmm. This year I felt quite planned, but no, we'll get there with it. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, there you go. Do we need to put these on the tray? We do need to decorate the tree, though. I think let's do that now. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Um, we do need a. St we need something for the top of the tree for next year. Well, nothing will fit. It's difficult, isn't it? Mm. It's difficult to fit anything up there. Mm. Um, All right, let's put these final decks on. Let's do this. Yay! That's big vocal yawn. Charlie is currently preparing the sprouts which is basically getting rid of the top layer of um, the top layer of leaves which are not you know they're more of the protective ones and then just snipping the bottom so he's busy doing that and I'm gonna start on my infamous cauliflower cheese. Now this is the Jamie Oliver recipe and I use his top crumb mixture recipe uh, so I think it's got rosemary sage Nope, neither of those. Thyme, stale ciabatta, olive oil, and flaked almonds. But I do my own cheese sauce because if there's one thing I'm very good at, <laughs> it's a cheese sauce. So I'm gonna do it in the thumb mix, but again, um, that's just for ease and for time. You can absolutely do this on the hob as I do in most of my macaroni and cheese recipes. But for today, we're gonna thumb mix it. <laughs> Broccoli cheese sauce is done, and Charlie's been working on the trivet. Well, turkey gravy. Turkey <clears throat> gravy. So we've got chicken wings in there. Lovely. This is a tried and tested method. Mm-hmm. And Jamie Oliver tends... method? Yeah, I think it is a Jamie Oliver method. So now you're um, roasting it for how long? I'm just going to do it by eye, really. Probably about 40 minutes. Lovely. And then we'll get it out and get it on the arbor, and then get obviously start adding some stock. Delicious.
few hours have gone by. I have now moved on to making the bread sauce, which is looking and smelling amazing. Charlie is adding, what is it doing? So this is the pure stock, uh, free range turkey gravy from Piper's Farm. Turkey gravy or turkey stock? Well, it's turkey stock, sorry, for the turkey gravy. I'm exhausted, we're in the kitchen there. <laughs> We've literally been we're in now, there five hours. We're insight into what it's like to be in a professional kitchen, mm. even though this isn't. Kitchen. You know what I mean? Just being on your feet, it gets you, doesn't it? Yeah. This is a lot of gravy we're making. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be good. Do that is the red wine jus base. Lay her down. For Boxing Day. Oh my goodness, this afternoon has been busy, busy, busy. Charlie and I have been in the kitchen for hours and hours, but it does mean that tomorrow we'll be able to relax and have minimal work to do. We are now heading over to George and Petra's for, a e for an evening of festive fun. I think they said they're doing cocktails, canapes, and a Christmas quiz, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I've popped on my what would you call them, kind of metallic pearlescent trousers that I showed you a few vlogmases ago. And I've kept on my little red headband because I think it just adds a festive touch to the outfit. And I've used the GHD, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's not the Rise, is it? Glide? Or maybe it is the Rise. To just add a little bit more movement into the bottom of my hair. I've got in my nice cream London earrings um, and then my fabulous Dior heels, which are rather, rather gorgeous. So this is my Christmas Eve outfit. I'm going to pop my brownie in a traversable container and then we're gonna hit the road. Oh, yeah, sparkling please. So here's the hostess oh, with the mustache. Please, goodly. Oh, the sparkling rosado. And look at all of these canapes. Wow. Oh my gosh, you have to explain everything, what it is. We have made it back from George and Petra's. We had a lovely evening, a lovely cocktails and canapes. Feels mm -hmm. like the start of a new family tradition. <laughs> having, uh, what are you doing? Having, um, really <clears throat> having, uh, yeah, having Christmas Eve at someone else's at George and Petra's. Now they're local. Yeah. It's our first Christmas with them living in the Cotswolds. Yeah. Um, so that'll be nice. Nice to hopefully become a tradition. Why does it look really nipply in the camera, know, but, but not in real on. life? <laughs> Who knows? Yes, we had a gl glorious evening. Um, we didn't win the quiz, although we did win the bonus round question. This is the real quiz. This is the real quiz. Yeah. Um, we, it was a really good yeah. quiz. George lovely did very canapes, well. lovely evening. Both feeling knackered. I feel like I've so I had a tough PT session, which wasn't sensible, mm -hmm. and then a full day on my feet in the kitchen. I feel knackered. So Shocking. we're going to so get to bed, have a fairly early bed. night. Yes, so this marks the end of Vlogmas 2023. I am so grateful for all of you for joining us. It's been a magical Vlogmas. Thank you to you, darling, for doing the advent calendar and for partaking. It's just become part of our Christmas tradition now, hasn't it? It has. It yeah. has. It's been good. It has. So, my darlings, I hope you've had the most magical Christmas. Thank you for joining us. There will be another video in a couple of days, as usual, the what we wore and ate for Christmas, but that'll probably be on the 28th or the 29th, whenever I muster up the, um, the energy to film it and edit it. But for now, darlings, um... Oh, it always feels really weird <coughs> signing off. Well, have it's a like magical end of an Christmas. Era. Enjoy time with your family. Yeah. I hope everyone gets uh, a lot of downtime, mm -hmm. some rest, mm -hmm. some recuperation. Enjoy spending time, quality time with your loved ones. Yes, absolutely. So from us here in the Cotswolds, from our family to yours, Merry Christmas. And thank you for watching Christmas in the Cotswolds 2023. Good night.